Hi, I'm Laura Quilter. I am the Copyright and Information Policy Librarian here at the University of Massachusetts Amherst Libraries. We are excited for January 1st, 2019 because it is Public Domain Day. It is the day in which copyrighted works in, from a particular year enter the public domain. 2019 is a particularly exciting public domain day. In fact, we could call it public domain year because it's the first time in 20 years that a large volume of works published in the United States will be entering the public domain. In fact, everything published in the United States in 1923 will be entering the public domain um, on January 1st, 2019. In 1998, the Copyright Term Extension Act was passed and that extended copyright by 20 years. So works were copyrighted now from 50 years after the life of the author to 70 years after the life of the author. Or, in the case of corporate works and many other kinds of works, from 75 years to 95 years. So everything that was published in 1923 has been on lockdown for 20 years. It hasn't entered the public domain when we would have expected it to have entered the public domain in 1999, for instance. And so all of those years worth of works have remained frozen. When works enter the public domain, they can be fully and freely used by anybody. There are no more copyright restrictions on them. So the public domain is effectively the, the repository, if you will, sort of the intellectual repository of everything that humanity has created that is not being currently locked up under a legal regime that restricts sharing and copying. So when a work enters the public domain, when it comes out into the public domain, it can be reused, it can be distributed, it can be modified. People can build on it to make new works. So for instance, famous works like the statue of Alexander Hamilton that is in front of the U.S. Treasury will enter the public domain. It was unveiled in um, in 1923, dedicated to the public in 1923, and so it will be entering the public domain in 2019, be available for people to scan and to reproduce um, freely images of, you know, our, our latest celebrity founding father. When works are under copyright but no longer in print or no longer commercially available, they really fall out of access to the world, and so in a sense they, they they, they're dead to the world, right? But when they enter the public domain, they're born again to the world. People can reuse, can find them and, re and use them and, and bring them back into the cultural mainstream at that point. And so it's really an opportunity for us to celebrate American culture and American creativity. Um, the first part of the 20th century was, you know, an amazingly um, productive and creative time in the American world when jazz was being established, when film, when recorded music was in its heyday, when there was creativity from, from all sectors of society and, and all of the works that were created in 1923 have been locked up for 20 additional years and so now we're going to be able to celebrate that they're coming back to life.